Today, we got the new Blue Eddy AC2A power station. Let's open it up. Accessory box. We got our AC charging cord. And we've got our solar charging cord. And we got a grounding screw. And here's the power station. This thing is tiny and it's super lightweight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the specs here. The battery capacity is 204.8 watt hours. It says it's 25.6 volt at eight amps. The output section here, we've got AC output. Uh, so it's a 300 watt inverter. We've got USB-A, 2.4 amps each port. We've got USB-C. Uh, does up to 5 amps at 20 volts. We've got a cigarette lighter port for 12 volt at 10 amps. And it says AC and DC output is 300 watts total. On the AC input, we got 570 watts max. On the DC input slash PV, we got 12 to 28 volts, 8.2 amps for 200 watt max. So you could do 200 watt uh, solar charging. So here on the front of the unit, we've got our DC slash PV input port here. We've got our cigarette lighter jack, our screen, our USB-C, and our two USB-As, and then our AC receptacle output. On the side of the unit, we have our AC charging input, and then that grounding screw. <laughs> Very nice, I like this screen on these. So we're sitting at 35%. Let's go ahead and charge it up. Plug our AC input in. And it shows grid right here. So it looks like we're charging at 129 watts so far. I guess at that it actually would fully charge in less than two hours since it's only a 200 watt hour battery. Okay, so while that's charging, let's try to run something on the AC output because that's usually people's question is can it charge and run AC output at the same time and we'll plug in this fan let's turn the AC output on there we go so now it's showing 141 watts going out oh now we see higher input wattage coming in so uh Clearly what it's doing is it's using some power from the grid to power this and to charge the battery at the same time. Let's hook up another fan. Oh, so we got two fans running. And for a brief period of time, we actually did exceed, I saw like 400 watts. It's gone down now to about 300. So we're basically maxing that AC output out. So I'm curious what happens if we remove the grid. Here we go. Yeah, it's running it. It's right at 300 watts. <laughs> so you can crank two fans. All right, let's plug the grid back in. Yeah, so you can see there, there's 430 coming in from the grid. There's about 300 going out to the fans. So that still leaves 130 to go charge the battery. That's pretty awesome. I'm gonna let this whole thing just run and let that thing just fully charge up. All right, so this thing's fully charged and we're still running these fans. Of course, we got the AC input still plugged in. But as you can see, the AC input coming in is exactly the same going out. So really it's just using the AC input. It's just bypassed the whole thing to run these AC loads. Uh, so let's go ahead and remove these, turn the AC output off, and let's set it up to do a capacity test. We'll pull a capacity test through the cigarette lighter jack now, of course, there's probably going to be some efficiency loss because there's usually a converter on the back side of this thing. We may lose 5 
but uh, let's do a test and see what our usable capacity is. Okay, so we've got the, the load tester hooked up. We need to turn the DC output on. All right, now we're showing 13.4 volts here. And I've got it set for seven amps. Let's just go with that and see what we get. All right, it looks like we're pulling 91 watts. So uh, we'll just let that run. I'll be back when it completes. All right. So it says we're down to 1%, but we are still trucking along here and we're at 165.2 watt hours. So if we're truly at 1%, we should be stopping here real soon. All right, so we just stopped and we came in at 178.9 watt hours. So that gives us about 87.35% of the capacity. Uh, so that's probably about right for it having to go through this jack here because obviously, like I said, there's some conversion and uh, we're, you know, clearly we lost a little over 10%. All right, so we're going to take this guy out for a little solar action. And I've got a couple of panels leaning up over here. These are the 200 watt Bougie RV bifacials. And I got them running in parallel. So hopefully we'll be getting enough power. It's not the greatest day for solar, but we got a little bit of sun. All right, here we go. Let's plug it in. And immediately it popped on here. And we see some power going in. Look at that. We got 129 watts. A little over 130 watts. Yeah, just a really n not so great day for solar. As you can see, we don't have a lot of sun. <laughs> All right, let's look at the app. Now we're showing 98 watts going in, 100. Let's hook up one more panel. I've got another one of these panels and uh, see what we get. All right, so I got three panels hooked up, but we're still maxing out at 130 watts. And that's likely because the voltage, these are 12 volt panels. To get a higher wattage, we'd have to have a higher voltage. So that's kind of like the dilemma on some of these power stations is that input is limited, you know, to a certain current level. And if you don't have a high enough voltage on the PV side, you'll, ne you'll never reach the maximum potential. But yeah, the app, uh, works fantastic. We're showing the solar coming in. We're showing that we're charging We're at 69% right now. All right guys, so I just noticed something in the app There is a Charging mode. There's a standard charging mode You can see that and then there's also a turbo and a silent I'm curious now if the solar input was actually limited because it's on the standard charging mode and i totally remember that the ac was limited to 130 watts early on so what i want to do I, i've got this battery i'm just going to plug this in this is a 24 volt battery and i'm going to plug it into the solar port and see what we get in the standard mode aha uh -huh, look at there we're at that 130 one watt limit that we saw earlier <laughs> now this should be giving us more power because this is a 24 volt pack so let's try switching this to turbo mode all right we're on turbo that ah, there we go check it out now we're seeing 198 watts going in through the solar port okay so we probably would have gotten more wattage in on the solar panels because we had it the app had it limited to the standard charging mode now i'm curious 
do we see it charge higher on the AC now? So I set it back to standard mode. Let's plug the AC in. Okay, yeah, we're, we're at 130 watts, so we're maxed out right there. Let's try the turbo mode. All right, turbo's on. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going up. Yep, yeah, 162 watts. All right, so there you go. If you want it to charge at a higher wattage on solar or on the AC input, you need to have it set to turbo charging mode. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for the video. Leave your comments and let me know what you think about this unit. Also, Blue Eddy is having some Christmas promotion starting the 11th through the 25th of December. You guys might want to check out their site to see if there's any awesome deals for you to be had. As always, I'll catch you on the next one.